Hello, everyone. This is uh, Master Blaster. I am doing a uh, voice uh, commentary for the Appendix B uh, information uh, when you're uh, creating your height maps. Uh, if you're in this section and you're in this video, most likely you went to section five and uh, you're a Mac user. And as a Mac user, you cannot run a batch file or bat file. Um, so you see on the screen that you see up here, you see Mac users go to Appendix B. So if you're watching this video, that's why. If you're, this doesn't apply to you, <laughs> turn this off, no worries, go do something else, go build your course. All right, so I'm gonna go down here to Appendix B. We're just gonna do a quick overview of what this process is gonna look like. Um, again, the reason we're doing this is Mac users can't run batch files. So the, there's gonna be two sections here. One is converting your inner and outer height maps to raw format. You should already have those inner and outer height maps. You already went through the process and you have them in your, um, your inner and outer folders. And then this first section is gonna be uh, converting those from TIFF essentially to uh, raw format. And then the second section is com converting those TIFFs to JPEG format. Um, so we'll go through these, um, but if you're following along here and you're ticking off the boxes, go to Appendix B, bring this page up, and uh, we'll get started with the uh, demo of how to do this. Okay, we're gonna get started here. Uh, let's go and start by clicking our inner surface. We're gonna go over here to the right-hand side, make sure your layer styling panel is up and we should see that we have selected that surface inner. We're gonna go up to raster. We're gonna go to conversion. Then we're gonna go to translate, convert format. In this screen, after we open the screen, we're gonna to go to our uh, notepad and we're gonna open up the file that was in our download resources and it's called that QGAL underscore translate dash additional commands. It should be in the list of uh, files that you downloaded in the resources. And we're gonna take that first line in there that begins with dash OF and we're gonna copy that. We're then going to paste it into the additional command line parameters. We're going to highlight the min and we're going to replace that with the min value from our layer styling panel on the right. When you do this, um, make sure you leave a space after it because now we're going to go to max and do the same thing. We're going to replace the max with the max value on the right as well. Make sure you keep that formatting. Do not lose your spacing. Now we're gonna go down to that converted section, save the file. Now we're gonna make sure, see save as type, make sure that is a bill file, BIL file. Uh, that's very important. And we're gonna name this Oakmont LiDAR Surface Inner. Again, you're just gonna replace Oakmont with your course name. Don't put Oakmont, you're not doing Oakmont. Well, I hope you're not doing Oakmont or you're gonna be wasting your time. Hit save. We're gonna uncheck the open output file after running. We do not wanna open it in QHES. We just wanna save it and we're gonna run it, let it run. And then we're gonna close that window. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our outer. So click on it, make sure it's selected in your layer styling panel, raster, conversion, translate. We're going to go down here in the additional command lines and we're going to paste that same one in that should be on our clipboard and we're going to put our max and min in from those values on the right from our outer. Again, don't lose your formatting. Save as, save the file, make sure BIL is selected. We can highlight that, we, but now we're gonna go to our outer folder. We're gonna save in a different directory. We're gonna change this to outer. Again, make sure bill file is selected, really important. Hit save. We're not going to open it up inside of QGIS afterwards, so untick the box and run it. And we're gonna close that window. Now we're gonna go back into our outer folder. 
we're going to change that bill file, okay, that Oakmont LIDAR surface outer dot bill, and we're going to change it to a raw file. So just change that extension to raw. And what we can do at this point, we can delete some extra files that were saved as part of this. Um, they're just taking up space. Oops, now we're gonna go into our inner folder and pretty much do the same thing. We're gonna rename our bill file to a raw file, and then we can delete those extra files as well. We don't need them. We have a project file. You can delete that. We have an HDR file, and we have an XML file. You can delete all three of those. At this point, we're going to go back up to raster, conversion, translate again, so the screen should look familiar. We're going to select our Oakmont underscore B, so our Bing overlay, our inner overlay. I'm going to open that up in there. We're going to go back to our notepad, and now we're going to go down to the second line. Not the second line, but the second commands, list of commands there, which is on line eight in the, in the image here. And we're going to copy. And we're going to go back into QGIS in the window that's open, paste that into the additional commands. We don't need to change anything, but we're going to go down to converted, save to file. We're going to, this time, we're going to go to our overlays folder. We're going to save this as a JPEG. I'm sorry, we're going to save this as a TIFF. Uh, I'm wrong, sorry. We are going to save it as a JPEG, all right? Make sure it's JPG. There's another one that's JEPG. I don't think it matters, but make sure it's just you pick the, the JPG extension. Hit save. We're going to untick the box, hit run. This might take a second, so we're going to pause. All right, that one's all done. We're going to go back up to the parameters tab at the top and repeat this again. But this time we're going to do our Oakmont or your Google inner overlay, the underscore G version. Open it up. We can keep that same uh, additional command line arguments in there. We just want to change the name of this, though. You can just go down there and change that B to a G. And run it again. And it'll take a few seconds. And uh, we'll kind of pause and fast forward here. Back up the parameters. You should see a pattern now. Now we're going to do our outer Bing layer. Change that to outer underscore B for Bing. Run it. And we'll fast forward through time again. Back to parameters. And we'll do our last one here, which is our outer Google. Run it and magically fast forward through time. Now we can close this window. We're going to open up our overlays folder, take a look. What do we got here? Looks like we got, yeah, good. We got four new JPEG images. We can delete the TIFFs if you want. You don't have to, they're just taking up space. Same thing, we have those extra XML files down underneath. You can get rid of those as well. And you're good. Congratulations.